Hello and welcome to this iMindMap7 video tutorial. In this video tutorial we will be looking at how to use the insert target to quickly insert images, central ideas, floating text and flowchart objects. Let's take a look at how we can do this. I am using a Mac computer but the same applies if you're using a PC. To reveal the insert target double click on the screen and the insert target will appear. Notice that we have four options to choose from. I will select the first option. I'll select option 1 from this menu. Our properties panel has opened. We can now select an image to choose from. Note in iMyMap7 you can choose to insert an image as a central idea or a floating image. I will insert this image as a floating image. Our image has now been added to our screen. I will now remove this image. Let's go back to the insert target tool and have a look at the second option from this menu. By selecting the second option we can insert an image from our computer. I'll select this image and select open. Again I have the option to insert it as a central idea or a floating image. Again I'll choose floating image. Our image has now been added to our screen. I will delete this image. Let's go back to the insert target and have a look at the third option. This option is a new option and this is the sketch tool. By selecting this we have the ability to draw any images that we like and apply them to our maps. Once you're happy select done. As you can see my drawn image has been added to the screen. I will delete this image. Now let's go back to the insert target tool and have a look at the second option. This option allows us to insert central ideas quickly and easily. I'll choose this one. Notice that this is a central idea that we can apply our branches to. I will now remove this now let's have a look at the third option. The third option allows us to insert flowchart objects from the menu. I will now delete the flowchart objects. The fourth option allows us to insert a floating text box. We have the option to choose from normal text, subtitle text and main title text. Again, you can type your text using the new text editor and my text has now been added. As you can see, using the new insert target tool allows us to quickly insert common elements, saving us time. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and goodbye.